Good day, Professor Montenegro and classmates. Today, our group, whose members are Natalia Rodriguez, Carlos Gonzalez, and me, James Denham, will be presenting about the pros and cons of e-learning. Now, we have noticed that education has changed dramatically in these last 10 years. And this has changed e-learning even more so because of the COVID-19 pandemic. With so many schools and universities being closed around the world, which have affected over 1 billion students, new options like online learning have been looked for by students who continue their educational goals. Now, online learning is a reality that has gradually become part of formal education especially among those students who can't physically attend the school or those who need to work and have a tight schedule, for example. Hence, it is very likely that even after the COVID-19 pandemic, online learning will still hang around for a while. So what is e-learning? Well, e-learning is nothing more than formal school or university teaching that is being assisted with electronic resources. While teaching can be based in or out of the classrooms, the use of computers and internet are the backbone of e-learning. So now let's keep in mind that the transfer of reading material, videos, projects, or all made much easier to share with e-learning. And by the way, it makes a backpack of a student much, much lighter. Now there are two types of e-learning, synchronous and asynchronous e-learning. Synchronous e-learning is when the learners and the instructors interact with each other in real time from different locations. For example, the professor may be in Chiriqui, while the student may be anywhere in Panama. Now, this requires a good internet connection. This is critical. Now, asynchronous e-learning, on the other hand, is when you have learners that have a chance to complete their training at their own pace. In this case, the learners and the instructors are usually not online. Now, let's not kid ourselves. E-learning is not easier than conventional classes. Although students have had to adapt to this style of learning, their responsibilities to complete exams, papers, presentations, and projects within a deadline is no different than what is commonly seen in conventional classes. Now, the difference is that student has more time, more flexibility. However, what one choice might appear more suitable for one student, it may not be suitable for another. Let's look at e-learning versus conventional classes. The traditional classroom is much better for those students who fit best in a social classroom experience, while e-learning will appeal more to the student who works best with less physical contact or, or who may need to make more frequent stops throughout the class to deal with other important chores, like for example, a mother that may need to pause a class video to attend her child and then return to the lecture. Now, this is a big break for young and old parents who have to work and study at the same time. Now, since both online and traditional education have their advantages, it may seem that students today can get the best of both worlds. So let's call this a hybrid or a blended learning. This type of education is becoming increasingly popular since 
it allows blending of both types of learning environments. It allows students to experience a combination of face-to-face -face interaction, as well as online and offline tutoring. Not, not only education has technology proven to be a great enabler, but also this has happened in business. It has granted a much wider access, facilitating continued education throughout an organization. It has provided an infrastructure through which companies can develop interactively engaging platforms to deliver skill building and also provide training information to their, to their workers. The online environment has offered unprecedented opportunities for people who would otherwise have limited access to education, as well also as being a new concept for educators in which a highly dynamic and very high quality courses can be developed. So let's see a list of the major benefits that online program can provide. Okay. Um, uh, hello, Professor. Hello, Professor. My name is Natalia Rodriguez. I am continuing with the um, with the PowerPoints uh, pros and cause of e-learning. So, okay. Accessibility. Perhaps the most uh, valuable benefit of e-learning is that it provides access to a wider audience through shared computing and the internet. Teachers can offer education to students anytime, anywhere. It allows students to participate in high quality learning situation with the instance and schedules make on um, ground learning difficult to impossible. Time efficiency is another strength brought by the online learning format. Okay? Cost effective. Students don't have don't have to pay for transportation, okay, or worry about eating on the go. E-learning doesn't require paying for any new equipment or books. Students aren't the only ones that can save money in e-learning. Many educational institutions save money through this step up because there's no need to use physical classroom, which translate to reduce monetary spending. Okay, easy of use, giving half much the average person uses technology on a daily basis and based on our familiarity with software application. E-learning easy of use can be a big benefit, okay, by choosing a user-friendly platform. A school can count on their students being able to, to negative their way around and learn how to use it quality. Of course, not every e-learning platform is user-friendly and not every student is test safe but generally school can reap the benefit of have, uh, having a test teaching tool that most students will feel comfortable using similarly the online format always a dynamic interaction between the instructor and a student and among the students themselves, resources and ideas are shared at continuous scenario. Will be generated through the learning process. Each individual can contribute to the course, this course, and the comments on the work of, of others. The scenery that exists in the student-centered virtual classroom is one of the most unique 
and B12 tribes that the online learning format process. Okay, creating teacher. The little tool of adult education support the use of interactive learning environments as contributing to self-direction and critical things in the online environment. The facilitator and a student collaborate to create a dynamic learning experience. The realization of a shift in technology credits to the they hope the, that those who move into the new technology will also leave begin bad habits. As they adopt this new paradigm of teaching, as educators transform their courses to take full advances of the online format, they must reflect on their courses objective and teaching styles. Okay, um, so it's my part. And in the in, in in my conclusion, in my part, or in my opinion, okay, I think that there is no distance when you want to learn. There is not such time, uh, such things as distant learning, as if the good the best were classroom based. And if you can go to class, you learn all sides and distance from the teacher. There are people who want to learn to be leaders and creators of the um, knowledge to share in it and other created a very world. Thanks also to e-learning. So I'm continuing with my comparison uh, Carlos, it's my finish in my in my part. Thank you, Professor. And next. So today I'm going to be talking about the cons of e-learning. While online programs have significant strength and offer unprecedented accessibility to quality education. There are weaknesses inherent in the use of this medium that can pose potential threats to the success of any online program. Like most new technology, e-learning still has it, its drawbacks. Wider access can also mean less control and potential technology issues. Just like in-person learning, e-learning also has its disadvantages. Next, I will mention some of them and explain a little bit about each one of them. Alright, so first we have lax social interaction. E-learning is one of the causes of social isolation because you don't see your teachers and classmates face to face anymore. Interaction is very limited to none. Learning face to face means students can ask questions and have their answered right away, which is not the case with e-learning. Students have the freedom to learn on their own time, whatever they are. But this may leave uh, them with a feeling of isolation and lack of support. The lack of a physical classroom and instructor can be frustrating and demotivating. Actually, I feel like that. I mean, I really miss normal classes, you know? So, next we have accessibility to technology. Before any online program can hope to succeed, it must have students who are able to access the online learning environment. Lack of access, whether it be for economic or logistic reasons, will exclude otherwise eligible students from the course. This is a significant issue in rural and lower socioeconomic neighborhoods. Furthermore, speaking from an administrative point of view, if students cannot afford uh, the technology that the institution employs, they are lost as 
customers so then we have one size doesn't fit all one of the main disadvantages of e-learning is that it doesn't appeal to all learning styles while most people appreciate the freedom and flexibility that e-learning provides many prefer the traditional classroom I'm one of them I prefer the traditional classrooms so they prefer the traditional classroom method to learning on a computer some people might prefer to learn through a hands-on approach and may find e-learning a little too much like going through the motions instead of applying the lessons to real life scenarios then we have lack of control through e-learning teachers are giving control to the students to learn in their own time and in their own way since students can use e-learning tools at their own pace there's a risk some may fall behind or just go through the material without really paying attention uh, so this lack of control over the learning process can lead some to be wary of using learning for educational purposes learning includes assessments just like in a regular classroom setting however there are no teachers or proctors to watch over you during exams it's easy for online students to share answers knowing there's nobody watching and then we have the last disadvantage and it is that e-learning focuses more on theory so you will spend most of your time listening to podcasts watching videos and looking at slide presentations there's no hand-on experience like conducting experiments so you're basically on your own in e-learning subjects such as public speaking surgery dental hygiene and sports where physical movement and practice contribute to the achievement of the learning uh, of the learning objective uh, these subjects are probably best taught in a face-to-face -face traditional learning environment so finally and uh, i want to conclude this presentation saying that both online and traditional have their place in today's education and depending on the situation one type of modality might be better sweet than the other it's the most modern way of learning that requires only a gadget and internet access of course however it is not for everybody being aware of the advantages and disadvantages of e-learning can help you decide whether this is for you or not so with this i want to thank you sir for watching this presentation i hope i hope you have a good day and i hope this presentation can help other students to to pick the or to select the best option of learning for them thank you